It's been called the, a national crisis. It's devastating families. Opioids really came uh, to market in the 90s. Um, it was, uh, at the time, raved as the next penicillin uh, as far as uh, helping people deal with pain and chronic pain. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the manufacturers really never told us that it was a highly addictive narcotic. Once that prescription goes away, then they seek to gain that high in other places. And this is where you're seeing uh, it as a gateway into heroin and, and some very serious life-changing and, and devastating um, drugs. When I think about the scenario of someone being prescribed opioids as the first response in the line of chronic pain or maybe the first bout of acute pain even, we never know what is gonna trigger in someone when they're addicted. It could be the first time that they were ever prescribed. It could be the sixth time they were prescribed. I think it's really important that we get this word out because it is a huge drain on our state and addiction disrupts families um, and communities, let alone all the things and the side effects that come off of that addiction um, that lead the person to dark places or even death. They're very addictive. Uh, I believe statistics tell us that uh, approximately 25% of all that are prescribed end up having some kind of an addiction problem. My son Heath, uh, about eight years ago, uh, suffered an uh, injury and uh, he was prescribed oxycodone. And he told me in his own words, he said, Dad, as time went on and he knew that he was an addict, he said, uh, Dad, um, they messed up the second time I called, they prescribed Oxycontin. And he said, basically, that was uh, the end. So I watched him in the last five years deteriorate from a beautiful marriage, two beautiful children, to having absolutely nothing. And um, on May 14th, of 2016, the spring, that uh, we found him uh, passed away from an uh, overdose of a bad batch of heroin that had uh, fentanyl in it. I dealt with his addiction actively for five years. He had it for eight, but for five years, I never really fully understood the magnitude of it until he passed away. You just never think it's gonna happen to you. What if you lose one of your family members because of it? What if, what if you're the family that had what we went through? It's what if, what if it was your child and you lost him because of that addiction? It's. <sighs> Is it worth the risk? You should have asked me on May 14th, 2016. No. It's never worth the risk.